it's like there you have it and that's the consequence of all you are doing in the mountains there skiing or snowboarding down steep lines that's the end if something goes wrong it's it's not the end for me actually I really don't think that I'll be able to present the recipe for, for everyone. I've dealt with a, a lot of injuries and some major uh, illness as well. Unfortunately, I can say that I'm, I'm good at <laughs> coming back, I guess. How to cope with something like this? For me, the most important part is getting a timeline set up, when to do certain things, setting ambitious goals. Try to be strict about that. Don't let you down when you're off one day or two days, for example. For me, those goals were walking without crutches, um, start stepping stairs again, taking my dog out for a walk, those kind of things. May not, not really major steps, but small ones. Keep it, keep it easy, especially the first weeks. Try to focus on other things that you weren't able to do or hadn't had the time to, to do during your fit days. I spent a lot of time focusing on, on other things like filmmaking or, or studio photography that I really didn't focus on before. In a way, that's a positive takeaway from all this. I think it's something that I wouldn't have spent time on. Focusing on the positives is, I think, really hard, but one of the major things to do because when you're only focused on the things that you can't do, that are painful, that's not the way because you're getting in, into some, some kind of a down spiral. From one bad thought to another, from one struggle to another, and I think the hardest part and the most important important part is to stay positive, to stay positive about yourself, stay positive about your, your life, about the things yet that you can do, rather than focusing on the things you can't do. So, yeah. What I did training-wise is I trusted my physiotherapist uh, 100% and I think that he did a really good job in building up exercises from, from one session to the other, going from really minor mobility exercises that I could do while sitting or while laying down towards the first standing exercises to walk um, or to try to get on the bike at home and start moving again and without any friction or any resistance. Then further on, I got to go from the doctors to use weights. And there it wasn't like putting on weights from the start it was more like preparing my body to use weights again. First two weeks after the go from the doctors, I didn't touch a barbell or a dumbbell or any weights that weren't in a machine. No free weights for two weeks, which I didn't expect it. And then after those two weeks, one and a half week actually, after those one and a half weeks started using weights again. And that felt so good. Being able to move weight, being able to move comparably lightweight for my standards before. Training again, getting, getting the muscles feeling tired again was really a cool thing to experience again. And also seeing how the body adapts to those exercises. It's impressive to see how things change according to different exercises and how muscles have some sort of memory because when there was pain and no contraction, no muscle work, then there I made an, an exercise that my physiotherapist gave me and the next day it was so much better or the pain was gone. So. That's incredible. And I think that everyone that goes through injury or illness afterwards, there's a time when progress is so fast that it's just in amazing and incredible. And it's so much fun actually to see the progress after the downtime. It, it's just fun to be exercising again and working your body again. First days of keys again. I guess that one of the most amazing feelings that I had in a long time. I had so much doubt the last weeks that this will work out in the time frame that I imagined it, that my body can do it, can, can ski again. And that worked out perfectly. It's not that I'm able to ski again, it's the fact that I'm able to live my life again, work again, walk my dog out. The whole package is amazing, but especially suffering the, the injury midwinter 
being to, being able to at least ski a few days at the end of the season is just amazing and not just slipping sideways down the hill or having pain in return it's like yeah i had a, a little pain after a while but it was like i never stopped skiing and everything worked out so so incredibly fine that every part of the puzzle training mental work being focused keeping myself distracted with other things they come together and it's unbelievable i think it's just i surprised myself that day i really did surprise myself because i i went up the gondola and i expected it to be so hard so much harder but then there is still touring i'm not really certain about that how that will work out I'm, i'm really positive about it but i still have my doubts and i hope i really hope that everything works out like i imagined it that, that i can do some some ski tours again this season to be able to enjoy some some leftover snow when the resorts are closed yeah that's something that gives me a little anxiety but we'll see on our way to the first tour after the accident so we'll see how things go um i'm a little bit nervous but um optimistic so yeah i haven't had pain in the last days um we'll see Starting at the bottom I did not know what to expect from myself from that day and I did surprise myself actually because I was able to carry my skis on my backpack. I was able to, to do a lot of kick turns in uh, in steep terrain that, that was challenging. It, it was really really painful at first but it got better every kick turn. So I was really optimistic and, and I felt strong and I felt good and then, then the snow got bad got punch crusty, it got icy and I got some really bad flashbacks uh, to the accident that was on the same same kind of snow. I was devastated because I did not expect myself to be in such a bad mental state but yeah, it is what it is. A turning around was the right decision that day. Sorry. 
searching for I found something I was searching for Life was waiting just beyond the door And I found something And now I want more Ooh, yeah, I want more And I want more Cause I want more, yeah I found something I was searching for Yeah, I found something I was searching for Life was waiting just beyond the door And I found something